Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, graph this absolute value function where it says y equals um, opposite of the absolute value of x plus 2. So the first thing we want to do is be able to pretty much identify what is that negative sign doing, as well as the 2 going to transform my parent graph, which I have the graph of the parent graph over here, as well as a table of values. So it's important for us to identify our transformations um, equations. And here's two of them, which are basically saying the only difference is here has a coefficient of x. But this equation does not have one, so we're not going to worry about this equation. We're going to look at this one. So we need to understand what exactly is A going to do. Well, A is going to um, horizontally or vertically stretch or compress our graph, or horizontally um, stretch or compress our graph. So it's pretty much going to stretch it or compress it, you know, make it skinnier or fatter. Um, as well as if a is less than 0, that means it's going to reflect the graph over the x-axis. So rather than our graph opening up, since this is negative, our graph is now going to open downwards. Then we need to identify, well, what exactly is, so actually let's write that in there. That's actually very helpful. Reflect the x-axis. Now the next thing is, what exactly is that plus 2 do going to do? Well, the 2 you can see represents our new x-coordinate of our vertex. So when we just had our parent graph, the vertex is at 0, 0. But by adding 2, what I am simply doing is I'm now shifting my graph left or right. Right? That is our h, is shifting it left or right, because now that's the new x-coordinate of our vertex. So is it, how is it shifting it to the right or to the left? Well, our equation is x opposite of h. So x opposite of, um, so, the best way to write x opposite of 2 would be negative 2, or you could write it like this. x opposite of negative 2 is x plus 2, right? Same thing. But therefore, hopefully you guys can see that my new vertex, which I should write, vertex is at negative 2, 0. And it's 0 because I'm not, adding a, I'm not adding anything outside of my absolute value. So now, to graph this, graph an x and a y-axis. So, I'm going to find my new vertex. Well, instead of being at 0, 0, like the parent graph, I'm going to shift it over two units. And now instead of going, following the pattern of over 1, up 1, and over 2, up 2, I now know the graph has to go down. So I'm going to go, I'm going to go over 1, down 1. Over 2, down 2. Over 3, down 3. Over 1, down 1. Over 2, down 2. Over 3, down 3. And then I can just connect my points. And now I have graphed my absolute value function. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you graph an absolute value function with a reflection. Thanks.